All right, so today we're over here on Genesis in the Lunar Biome because I am searching for some tech Rexes to tame. Uh, we have a choice between using, you know, regular Rexes or the X Rexes, which look really cool, or tech Rexes, which are stronger because they can come as higher levels. And I think we're gonna go with tech Rexes. Maybe at some point we'll actually get some X Rexes as well. Like, I, I really feel like doing just a crazy mutation stack and making it look really cool but I don't think they're gonna be stronger than tech ones. So yeah, we might have to go for both. Um, oh, speaking of tech Rexes, hello. Basically just got here, so we haven't really done a whole lot of searching, but it shouldn't be too hard to find some here today. They're like literally everywhere. This whole biome is filled with tech creatures and also the space whales, Astro see this. Uh, so yeah, we, we've got like just tons and tons of creatures that we could potentially look at here today. It really shouldn't be hard to find even just a few max levels. Uh, speaking of the max level, um, on a tech Rex on my servers, <gasps> no, are the meteors coming already? Oh my God, no, yeah, they are. Okay, uh, I might leave, I might leave. Um, I've, had, I've had too many bad times with those meteors, although they are coming from the ground and they're also over there. <sighs> I'm gonna jinx it, I'm gonna stay here. And I'm gonna get destroyed because I've done that. Okay, great. Uh, let's just, let's go over this side. Maybe they won't hit over here. Ugh, famous last words. So max level for a tech creature um, is basically, you know, the max level plus 20% because tech creatures have 20% extra onto their levels. That's why you'll often find them at just like random ass levels that you'll be very confused about. Um, on official, they go up to 180, but on my server, because max level is 180, they go up to 216. So anything around 200 and above, we should probably go for. Um, I think there's two intervals, three intervals above 200. I believe one of them is 201. One of them is something else, and then the other one is, uh, oh, there's a 194. Oh, that's a pretty good one. I'm not going to go for it, though. Let's just go for 200 plus, because a, a, 200, a 201, I believe, is a 168 boosted up or something like that. But anyway, yeah, so we've got just tons of creatures to look at here today. Like, honestly, I, I really feel like we're going to get out of here with just a crap ton of them or at least be able to just farm this place for, like, ages. And then eventually, there we go, a 208, and then eventually have just crap tons of them. Uh, we have a 72 and a 208. Let me kill the 72. There's a lot of creatures here, though, so maybe I should go for some of them first and help out. I think, which one it, wait, hang on. Oh, my God, there's so many things. Which one is the one or the 208? Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Um, I should probably help this this one over here. <laughs> so yeah, guys, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Um, yeah, we. I'm really hoping to obviously get just really good Rexes that we can eventually make an army with. We've already got a Spino army. We've already got a Megatherium army. So we need that Rex army as well and the Therry army and just other armies. But like Rex one, I definitely feel like making really soon. Funny thing, uh, in the last cluster that we had, uh, this thing's pissing me off, man. <laughs> in the last cluster that we had, we never even went for a Rex army. We never actually made one, which just really surprised me when it came to the end of that series. Because I was like, what the hell? How did I not manage to do that at any point, you know? There we go. That thing's dead. And we've got tons of these defense units here. Let me just try to kill some of them if I can. Okay, that one there is dying. These things are so annoying, man. They really are. They don't hurt that much, but they're just super annoying. Come on. All right, let me just get through everything here. Come on. All right. So, um, yeah, let me, let me think. We have... We have a couple levels above 200. I think it's... It goes... It definitely goes 201, 208, and then I believe it goes straight up to 216 from there. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Oh, check out this saddle. We got this ages ago, if you guys remember. I think it was the episode where we got a tape jar, which again, that's another creature that we got to actually tame more of. Uh, what the hell's this thing doing? <laughs> there we go, I'm, I'm hitting it, which is great. There we go, cool. So yeah, we got that, uh, that saddle in the tape jar episode, and honestly, it's really insane. It's not a blueprint, but I mean, 170 armor is is nothing to scoff about. I mean that that's kind of insane I can't wait to actually pop that onto a rex and just see how little damage I'll be taking from things uh, The one with the purple is the 208 I believe right? Yeah, okay uh, So maybe let's use the bow just a little bit here uh, Wait, hang on Did that say female a second ago? No, hang on. Maybe I read that wrong yeah, no, there it is. Okay. I thought maybe it said female because then I spotted another Rex over here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Should I just go over there? I should probably just go over there and start hitting things instead of shooting for like 10 hours. 
Let me get in here. Let me help out just a little. Oh my god. Bloodstalker is super fun to use in this biome, but sometimes it's frustrating. Oh, it's... Oh, something's making them bleed. What is that? Is that the stego, maybe? Is the stego making them bleed? I don't know what that was. Uh, one with the purple. Are you the one with the purple? You don't have purple, right? I'm gonna kill you. There we go. That one's dead. And then this one here is the other one I need to kill. One in the back is the uh, 208. Okay, we need to start killing some of these other creatures. It looks like the two of us have killed everything. That's great. Um... Oh, wait, no. There's a seeker over there. Okay, hang on. Let me just latch to here. And maybe we can just chill here and just shoot? No, probably not. All right, you know what? I did bring some stuff for a trap because I figured it would be a good idea. So let me just try and trap it away because this biome is kind of dangerous. There's a lot of things around. You know, there's like seekers around, which will be annoying for me, but also defense units rolling in out of nowhere. Okay, that thing's dead immediately. God damn. All right, come on. Let me kill you, please. Come on. Oh, it's almost dead. Come on. Oh, I don't want to really hit around the racks. Although I should be fine, actually. Let me do that. There we go. It's dead. Sweet. Um, I could probably just... Oh. Oh, no. I'm in a minute. I'm... Blah, blah. I can't even speak. I'm in a mission zone is what I was trying to say. But it just came out as... A min -min -min -min. So that's great. Um, <laughs> we'll just cut that bit out. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Let me just... I don't know. I don't really know what to do here. I mean, we could probably just start jumping and just flying up like this. Oh, we're right by the edge of the map. Hmm. That's interesting. We could potentially try to tame it over here because then it won't have too much of an area to like run off to. Um, yeah, this actually could be okay. Let me see. Boom. All right, you know what? We can scan it with Helena a little bit. What the hell is wrong with me? Why can't I get out of this hole? Seriously? Okay, there we go. That's cool. It's so weird sometimes. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this is not great. We can't build our trap and we can't just keep it here. Okay, there we go. I'm now latched to the rock. That's that's okay. All right, we're just going to shoot it from here. And fortunately, it somehow got up here. So that's cool. Let me see. No, I missed. Great. You know what? I hate taming on the back of Bloodstalkers. I'm pulling out my Denonicus. Yeah, it's just too frustrating. I hate the way they like stand up. Even though that's kind of cool, I still hate it. <laughs> I don't really hate it. It's just kind of annoying. All right, here we go. Poe, let's let's go. Let's do this. You and me. Don't teleport me around somehow. Oh, crap. I'm super heavy on you. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to have to go for it anyway. We can just jump around a little bit. I mean, we can even jump around while we're completely overburdened on one of these dudes. All right, let's see. Where's your torpor at? Not a huge amount. Okay. Let's run around just a little. All right, let's see. Shoot you again. I, that, that hit, but it didn't count. Okay, hang on. Oh, God damn it. I wish I wasn't completely overburdened. I need to freaking... I need to get some... What are they called? Weight mutations. I need to get weight mutations on some Denonicus and just pile in tons of weight so I never have to worry about this because this is always an issue for me. No. All right, let's reload. This is frustrating. I should have probably tried to bring it to a better area, but I don't really know. I don't know this terrain very well. Um, and to be honest, this whole area is just kind of strange to me. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know I was by the edge of the map. That's how little I know this area. Come on. Here we go. And one more. Here we go. And of course we have another defense unit running in. Let me make you bleed bolts. All right. Come on. There you go. And dead. All right. Now we got this Rexy poo on me again. All right. What are you at? You know what? I could just let it hit me, which is probably fine because it's only doing like a hundred per hit. I wish I could scan it, but apparently I'm just not, not allowed to. I don't know why. Uh, reload rifle. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, what are you at? Eight, nine K. Okay, we're, we're definitely taking it down quick enough. Um, we could just continue here. I don't think it's going to be able to run too far from here once it gets down to the right amount of torpor. Or I guess once it gets up to the right amount of torpor. Come on. So 208 is pretty amazing, actually, for a first find. So 208, 201, 216. That's what we're looking for here today. Oh, man. All right. Well, look at those stats anyway. I mean, it already has some pretty good ones. I mean, 6K is pretty good for a Wild Rex, right? I think, maybe. Kind of hard to remember. Um, all right. Well, it's Torpor running right now, which is great for us. Let's just keep shooting at it. Try and catch up to it a little bit. All right. Don't run too far. Don't run too far. Okay. Hang on. One more. After this one, one more should do it. And now, boom, down. Sweet. All right. 
We're gonna check the area. We got a seeker over there. We got a dead seeker here. That thing's a cool color. I like it. All right. Are we good? I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. No, we've got another seeker over here. I'm gonna go kill it. All right. Now we're super weighed down. Let me just drop all that. You don't need any of that. And we don't really need any of this stuff. I mean, if I need any of this tech stuff, I'll just simply go to my little farm that I have that just gives me all of this stuff anyway. Um, yeah, it is pretty nice to just come to this biome and just meat run everything, but still. Uh, here you go. I think 10 should probably be enough. And let me go ahead and search you. That's not the right button. It's this one here. Boom. Oh, man. So that's going to come out as a three. Well, it might drop down by a level, but it will come out as like a 300 plus, which is going to be cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting how they added in these like tech rexes and tech creatures and stuff like that. They literally have like a full biome full of them, even though they're supposed to be somewhat rare. I think the percentage to find a tech creature over a regular creature is 5%. So when a stego or whatever is spawning, it has a 5% chance of being a tech variant, which also doesn't really help out because if you attack a tech one, a regular one will not defend it which is kind of strange. I feel like they should probably have like the same creature class or something like that. It's it's weird the way they did it. I don't really understand why they did it that way. It's like the tech creatures want to be racist towards the, you know, the flesh creatures. This could be a whole war in the, in the future. So if I'm kind of hitting on things right now between the robots and the humans, then I am sorry, robots, and I am with you all the way. Screw the humans. Um. <laughs> You ever think about that? You know, like we're saying all these bad things. We like punch a toaster or whatever when you're drunk. And uh, and then in like 50 years, you know, the toasters are going to be the ones taking over and you're going to be you're going to be uh, getting punched by them. Maybe possibly <laughs> just all I'm saying is be careful of the machines. OK, we got to watch out. We don't want Terminator to happen. It's a great movie, but no, can't happen. All right. Well, anyway, enough of this crap talking. We're just we're going to wait for this tech Rex to be up. We got to find another one. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know what? I'm kind of thinking that we should be able to leave this thing. Um, it's already eaten two pieces. It's already up by 23%. So that means that I should only need like nine pieces in there, right? Mm, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to keep all of that in there just in case. Um, all right. Well, let's see. We're going to search for some more. Obviously, I want quite a few of these. This one here is what? A male, right? I think. Yeah, you're a male. Okay, cool. So I need to find at least a female. Um, let's see. Okay. We got lots of space here to look for. Oh, I forgot that hurts you when you go above that stuff. We got lots of area to look for uh, these Rexes in. I mean, like, they're really just everywhere. I don't think there's, like, a specific area that's super good for them. Although I do notice, actually... Hmm. I don't know if it's an actual thing, but right beside where the basketball court is, I feel like there's quite a lot of them there all the time. I don't know if that's a thing or whatever. Okay, why can't I hit you at all? There we go. Boom. I remember when you could tame these things. They made a mistake, and they made them, like, just tameable, and people started taming them, and then they they, they went ahead and, uh, and fixed that. But that was kind of funny that for, like, a little time, you were able to actually tame them. Very strange. All right, well, you know what? It's not even worth going around and trying to kill them. I'm just going to keep looking. Let's see. And, hey, we've got a glitch over there. I feel like I'm actually down to the last few glitches, if not the last two or three... I think maybe this actually might be the last one. Let me have a look. I know I'm super, like, almost done. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Okay. I must be thinking of a different biome. Which biome is that? I feel like that's probably the Arctic one. Yeah. All right. Well, never mind. We have quite a few glitches to go here, so I'm just going to grab it while we're here. Uh, hello, Raptor. <laughs> you don't want to fight me. I know you don't. You don't really want to fight me at all. Why am... Okay. There we go. I could hit you. Uh, oh. Hello, Helena. There we go. Okay, now we're getting hit by something. Another raptor. Sorry about your friend, bud. Okay, are we good? Can I see this glitch now, please? Uh, oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. I know what's stopping me from being able to do that. Uh, it's this button here. I need to not be tracking anything. It's kind of dumb the way you're not able to, like, track anything while, um, we're trying to get a glitch. This is stupid. Come on. Get out of here. Super high level defense unit. I'm also super low on health right now, so we're gonna pop a potion. Let's see, what level are you? 64. Let me just shotgun you. It's gonna probably be quicker. And you're probably almost dead. There we go. Nice. I like how they still give the T-Rex arms. Probably a great place to come for them if you're ever needing them. Uh, boom. 
So I've got a 194 here, and I know what I said earlier, but I'm going back on what I said. Uh, we should probably try and tame this thing. One thing I do have to watch out for is that it's very cold in this area, and everything's getting small. So yeah, we don't want that to happen. Um, never know when you might need to present. Let's see, come on. We gotta, we gotta knock this thing down. Just getting slapped by it constantly, but it's fine. We'll heal at some point soon off of machines. It seems like maybe a Bloodstalker shouldn't be able to heal off of one. The main reason why I'm here, by the way, is because of this glitch. I found another one. And knocked down. Sweet. Got it. All right. So that thing's probably going to need less kibble. I'm not exactly sure how much, but again, we'll just chuck in 10. I mean, like, I already have tons of this stuff. It's fine if I waste a couple pieces. Uh, here's something that I love doing in this biome, by the way. Check this out. I mean, if people aren't doing this, then you're definitely missing out. So, boom. Oh, wait, no, you have to be jumping. All right, watch. Boom. <laughs> you could use the shotgun to just, like, go directly up like this in this biome. I think it only works with the shotgun as well. It might work with the other shotgun. I'm not exactly sure about that one, but definitely this one works. It could just make you, like, fly around a little bit. I don't know why. It's just kind of fun. <laughs> All right, so we're knocking down another Rex. I don't really know what happened to it, but it's just, like, stuck here. It's a 201, so hopefully it's got some good stats what the hell was that noise oh that's the noise of creatures popping back up uh hello you weren't here a second ago what level are you could have just used Selena. i don't know why i didn't <gasps> no! <laughs> oh god i don't have any creatures out this is not good we gotta kill them space style there we go almost and it's okay if i fall by the way you don't die you just pop back up <laughs> all right great i didn't actually mean to fall and zoom. there we go cool teleported amazing uh where 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 am i though huh i'm not exactly sure where i am uh here's something that we could do let's go ahead and just track this one that way i'll know how to get back to it uh it's this way wow it actually teleported me really far away from where i was also, we're kind of on the ground now with no creatures, although, to be honest, I kind of feel okay about this. I, I'm not too nervous because we mostly killed a lot of creatures in the area. Let's see. Um, let's do that and then shotgun so we can get some speed. That I don't know if that actually helped. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, though. All right. Let's see. Come on. Let's get over there. We got defense units and some other badness around here. Oh, hello. You weren't. Yeah, you're that Raxy poo. You're that same Raxy poo that we just saw a minute ago. And there's another uh, little raptor right there. And now it's dead. And there's a defense unit. It's like shotgun wars up here, to be honest, for me. Oh, great. Now, okay. I didn't mean to fall off again. <sighs> okay. It's time. It's probably time to take back out my Bloodstalker so we can pop some food into that little Rex right there. And wait for the teleport. Beam me up, Scotty. There we go. Cool. Uh, this actually could have been bad. You could have uh, beat me up to somewhere bad, couldn't you? Okay, we're actually not too far this time. Sweet. All right, let's... Uh, you can't get to me, can you? I don't think you can. Boom. Um, let's try and get over there. I got some raptors and stuff around, but I feel like we should be able to take care of them if they come after me. We just got to drop some food into this thing, so let's see. Wait, whereabouts are my other Rexes, and how far are they? You're 80% and you're 25% almost. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, no, no. <gasps> okay, hang on. Oh, I landed on its face. I didn't think I would. Okay, let's see. Jump and just float in this direction. I love this whole, like, you know, almost zero gravity system. What is it? This would be, like, low gravity, I suppose, is what you would say about it. That's what you would say, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> low gravity. I like the low gravity. I think it's fun. It's definitely fun when you're on the ground. Not so fun when you're on some creatures, though. Let's see. Let's just kill these stagos just so they're not in the way at all. I don't think they're probably going to go near the racks, but just in case. They shouldn't be too hard to kill, and my guy's getting bled out right now. Might need to do something about this. There we go. Forgot they could do that. Keep forgetting that stagos got their TLC, and now that they're kind of amazing, uh, they're somewhat scary. Let's see. That one's almost dead. Come on. There we go. That was a pretty good level, actually. No wonder it, take, it took a while. This one doesn't care though. Look at this. Okay, no, now it does. Amazing. All right, let's drop all that crap. We need to grab something small and feed. We need to feed this dude. So many creatures around. 
Let's just get rid of their corpses so nothing comes over. All right, so yeah, I need to feed my uh, my little blood stalker. And speaking of feeding, we got a lovely tasty snack right up here. All right, you enjoy this snack, and I am going to check the level on this little Rex right here. Hello. 208? Are you kidding me? Seriously, it's 208's just chilling up there the whole time? Maybe? I don't even know. I didn't even... I just noticed it. Was it always there? I don't think it was. Uh, can we hit it from here? Possibly. Just gotta watch out for the poop. Don't poop again, Bloodstalker. No, that hit, but it didn't count. Hang on. You kidding me? Like a secret Rex just chilling up there. Okay, apparently I'm just not able to hit it. But that's fine for the moment. Let me just... Can I grab this guy? I think you can, right? Oh, no, that didn't count. Their hitbox for the grab is so small. There we go. And more feed for you. Okay, apparently I'm not able to do that, so it's fine. All right, let me see. So yeah, there's just a 208 Rex just chilling up here. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Wait, that didn't hit. That didn't hit. It's fine, though. We'll get it. Gotta move it away from the other Rex, actually, because it's mate boosting it. You mate boosted anymore? I don't think you are. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Let me just get it to a better spot. We can. This one's doing a good amount of damage, actually. Got more Rexes over there. Should probably just check their levels. Uh, another 208? Are you kidding me? Why is there, like, two 208s beside each other? That was a 201. Are you... Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I don't mind. Like, this is great. I love getting these creatures close to each other. It makes it easier. But, like, this is so weird. <laughs> All we need now is a 216. That would be fantastic. Arc. Arc gods. Do you hear me? Please. Give me a 216. All right. That one hit. Sweet. Need to watch out for creatures potentially shooting at me and stuff. But we're okay for the moment. All right. This thing should go down any second now. Boom. Almost. Oh, God, it's like a sliver. Oh, wait, no. I misread that. Never mind. There we go. Nice. All right. Another Rex down. That's four Rexes so far. And we have another one over the other side, the other 208. So we need to get that one down as well. Um, let's see. I could use this as like a little boost. And maybe just shoot from that hill. I think that actually might be it over there. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I might actually be able to get it to come over here. It's a male, and that one there is a male. We just don't want to bring it over there, because that one over there is the female, so... Let's see. Um, I don't know where they went. I do really like running around on ground in this biome. It's so fun. Pity the tech suits don't work properly in this, uh, in this DLC. Unless you turn them on, which I can't remember if I did or not. I feel like I might have, but not, you know, to abuse for missions and stuff. If I ever am doing a mission wearing a tech suit and I do have that turned on, I'll probably end up just turning it off. Let's see. All right. Well, I'm going to have to take down this Rex as well and probably take down that Stego because it's hurting the Rex. All righty. Lots and lots of things to knock out. All right. Chasing down this Rex. It's almost out. Although we do have another Rex right there. I'm not sure what level that thing is. Uh, 72. We can kill it. Oh, crap. Come on. Reload. And... Do some of these. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> nice. All right. Unfortunately, I lost my Rex. It's somewhere over there. Oh, my God. It ran so far. So fast. Shotgun boost. Oh, I just shot back at my Rex. Okay, no. Good. I didn't hit it somehow. All right. Sweet. Um, <laughs> That was uh really dumb. I don't know why I did that. All right. Come on. Get knocked out. No, don't jump off. Please, no. No. It fell off at the same time as it knocked out. Please land right there. Uh-oh. No! Please come back! I don't even know where it's going to teleport it to. Uh-oh, we've got a raptor up there. Uh, Great. I don't know where it would put it. That's not it there, is it? Is that it? No, that's the dead Rex. What happens? Oh, wait, you're... you're oh, I'm, a, I'm a dumb dumb. I think that actually might be it right there. Uh, another another time when I could use this thing. Let's just track all. Boom. There it is. Okay. Good. That kind of worried me. <laughs> of course, it, just my luck, you know, it would uh, it would knock out at the same time as it uh, teleport. Uh, 
Uh, they're gonna kill. Yeah, no, that's just ruined that Rex, hasn't it? Yeah, that Rex is getting ruined. Nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about that. Great. So that's the unfortunate thing. Other creatures in the area are teleporting to this exact spot and fighting on it. Ugh, I'm just gonna kill it. There's not even a point of waiting for it to wake up. I know I'm gonna get a couple comments about this, but guys, it's not worth waiting. It really would not be worth waiting at all. I mean, plus the fact that I'd have to completely knock it out again. I'd probably rather just spend that time finding a different wreck. So this one was just unfortunate, but it is what it is. And now it's dead, almost. Now it's dead. Now, now it's dead. It's gonna be dead any second. Now, there we go. Said it first time. Now it's dead. I'll just cut out all the rest. It's fine. Um, all right, great. So that sucks. <laughs> I can't drop that. Hang on. Let me just do this instead. All right. So we're gonna go over here and grab the first Rex that we knocked out. This one was a 201, I believe. I think. Pretty sure it was a 201. All right. Well, anyway, we're gonna get it picked up. Oh wait, no. This one here was a 208. That's what it was. We're gonna get it picked up and check out its stats and hopefully it's got some pretty good ones. Let's just use that as an anchor point to get down. And there we go, boom, slap right into the ground. Amazing, we did it again. Let me just pick you up there, bud. Sweet. And look, you've, you've left me a little piece of kibble, it seems, maybe? Let's see, can I not pick it up this way? That's not how that works. I thought you could do it that way. Never mind. all right, I might just leave because there's a lot of things here. Uh, that is a 21, okay. Alrighty, so let's check out the stats on this thing. Where exactly is it? This one here. 51 points into Stam. That's pretty good. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Yeah, I'm happy with that as our stamina stat. I mean, that's that's nice. Alright, cool. Well, we've got a lot more Rexes to check out. Um, we have quite a few now. We have a 201 to knock out. Amazing. We have quite a few to uh, another 201. There's two 201s together. What is happening here today? So many of the same type. I love it. All right. Well, anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll knock these two out and maybe we'll have another Rex tamed up by then. We have that one that's like 73% right now. So he's pretty close. All right. So I've tamed up seven Rexes in total. We have three females and then four males. So out of the females, um, let's see. Any of these stats good? I just picked them up and I didn't really look at them too much. We have a pretty good melee on this one. 47 points, which is uh, 402 on the melee. That's pretty good. This one here is a lesser stam. Our best out of the females for health is 46 points, which is like 11,000. That's pretty good. All right. So what about the males? We have this one here has got good oxygen and good weight, but oxygen is not important. And weight is not really something I'm really too interested in trying to get a super amazing stat on. But that's pretty good, actually. 54 points, just over 1,000 uh, into the weight. Let's see. Um, oh, this one here has got 51 points into health, which is just 12,000, and then 53 points into its melee, which is like 440. That's pretty good, actually. That's our best melee and best health so far, I believe. Uh, this is the one with the stand that we've already taken a look at. And oh my god, this one, this one's got 58 points into its health. That's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, yeah, that's a really good stat. That's, that's great. Okay, so... You know what? Like, we, we've already teamed up seven of them, and out of these seven, I've already gotten some pretty amazing stats. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I could probably tame some more at some point and try to get some really good stats out of them as well. Um, hmm. Yeah. I might try that. All right. Well, I came back to my base here because I also wanted to go ahead and actually grab some more potions because obviously being in that biome, it's very dangerous, and you just constantly lose health. So it's just super dangerous to just even be there. So I might head back and then meat run just a little bit with a Rex just for funsies. So uh, yeah, let me let me get a teleport going. I'm not exactly sure where we want to be going. Um, I never know my way around this biome. I don't know what's worse to try and navigate the lunar biome or the bog biome. I feel like it's probably the lunar one. I mean, the lunar one's just confusing. There's just stuff everywhere and you can't really tell unless you're seeing like the giant metal things that are floating and stuff like that. At least in the bog biome, you know that you're looking at the center if you see some of these trees. Like those big ones with the bloodstalkers are never on the edge. So I don't know. It's kind of just this whole, this whole freaking map, man. Like Genesis in general is like the hardest map to traverse and like learn, I think. So yeah, definitely need to spend some more time in each of these biomes and try to figure it out. Um, I guess some of them 
Like, we have the volcanic biome, which is just like a giant volcano in the center. So that one's not the worst. Let me just try... Wait, which Rex do we want to use, actually? We should probably pick a good one. Uh, is that good or bad? <laughs> I don't know if that's bad for us, because they're coming from the ground again. Hmm. All right, I think we, we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. Let's see. Uh, this Rex here, I'd be okay if this one died. And that's such a horrible thing to say, but yeah. <laughs> So we're just, we're going to stay here just and be careful, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Like, this is, this is kind of terrifying. I mean, <laughs> the ground is, is coming up and, and it's scary. So I'm just hoping that the blast radius on those things isn't like gigantic or whatever. So yeah. Oh my God. It was, they're just horrifying. The very first time that we got trolled by one of those was when we were, we had just gotten our Ferox um transformed and everything in the genesis series and then i came to this biome and i was like ah we might we'll probably be fine and then like literally and then like literally after a few minutes one of those uh meteors hit me and it was just horrifying because i just lost my little ferox my brand new ferox just straight away boom dead gone flattened i don't know i really like that though that was like a, a funny moment to look back on but like in the moment it was like well, that's kind of crushing because this is the whole episode's purpose gone into into just a nice little pancake on the ground. Um, yeah, <laughs> kind of curious. Uh, how how good is this biome for like just, you know, running around and gathering up the stuff? Like, is it worth coming here and doing this all the time? I mean, it's got to be like it. Obviously, using a chainsaw on the corpses is going to yield more resources, but I don't know. I feel like just doing this might actually be pretty good. Like, if you had a super powerful creature, it would probably be better, so then you don't have to fight so much. But, um, I don't know. Like, I haven't really meat ran this biome at all, so I kind of want to try it just a little bit. We'll spend a few minutes here and just see what type of, uh... uh yeah, don't jump off the edge there, Raptor. <laughs> that thing made a smart choice. I don't know why it just ran right up to the edge and then decided no. That was weird, man. I didn't like that. Stupid little Raptor's learning. He should have just ran off the edge for the food. Surely. I've seen raptors do that. Oh, no. Look at those creatures just flying right off. Great. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of curious if we're going to get, like, a ton by just being here for a few minutes, killing things. I know these defense units don't give any, but it's just never going to leave me alone unless I kill it, so might as well do it. Also, we're, like, basically out of, like, most ammos. I mean, like, the shotgun ammo is, like, really low. I think I came here with, like, 300 darts as well, and we've already used 200. And uh, I definitely came here with a ton of arrows, and now I don't even have that many. Let's see. Come on. Let me kill this this Rex and the raptor. Nope. Goodbye, raptor. Never mind. All right. Let's see. Let's eat some food and then hop off and do a poop. We got to obviously keep the healing up on my character. We do have quite a few uh, healing potions right now, though. I should probably carry more of those on me. Let's see. I know we're out of stem. It's fine. We're going to kill these guys, and then we're going to deal with the stem. Come on. There we go. Cool. All right, so some pretty good stuff so far. You know, I feel like my farm's a little bit more efficient in terms of time, but then again, you can't always just have a farm that will just poop out eggs every few minutes. So yeah, I don't know. This is obviously got to be something that people do on like official, you know, just running around this biome and just collecting up a bunch of stuff. It is a super dangerous place to be. Don't get me wrong, but like it's definitely worth the, uh, the risk to come up here for all this metal and like freaking element dust and everything like i don't even i don't even know i feel like they're just making element way too easy to get nowadays i mean you can even get shards over in this map like this map is ridiculous i feel like this kind of broke arc just a little let's see yeah some pretty good stuff there nice we're gonna drop all the rest we have like no meat though actually all right so that is going to be it for today we've tamed up a crap ton of rexes i obviously want to tame more and i'll continue to do that between videos but uh yeah that is it for today if you have enjoyed the video go ahead do me a favor hit the like button subscribe turn on notifications all that good stuff and i'll catch you in the next one